The following is a semi-professional attempt at humor. The jokes contained within are intended for a mature audience. Not 18, we aren't cops, but we will occasionally say things that you find offensive. If you do get offended by our videos, make sure to keep any hate in the comments section where it belongs, or write about it on your blog. Above all else, try to have fun and remember, nothing matters. Welcome back to Nihahala, and I am right now trying to run back to Bourbon and do this entire encounter with the fucking Nozaluses and the demons, and, uh, and hope that we don't fuck that up. Let's see here. Son of a bitch. God damn it. I promise I don't suck at this game. I know I keep saying that. Like, <laughs> I am playing on, like, one of the hardest difficulties in the game, too, so I'm gonna cut me some fucking slack. Jesus. Well, that's not a good noise. Is that the running of the air noise? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. The, <laughs> that click meant I was out of ammo, which is even uh -oh. more important than having uh, air. Okay. Jesus, Bourbon. Well, he's got the NPC disorder. He's got fucking unlimited ammo. <laughs> After you, fucking you, guy. Oh, god damn it, no! Oh, let me go! No, d not this high. Don't let me go this high. I guess I didn't really get a choice in the matter, did I? <laughs> Did I die? Am I dead? What happened? The screen went blank. Did Is that we make a part it? of the cutscene? <gasps> we fucking made it! Alright! Oh, okay, did he drop you like right where you needed to get to? I guess. On bourbon. <laughs> I felt safe here, in the darkness of the metro. More so when bourbon claimed to have friends at Dry Station. Oh, stretching! Oh, stretching! Pro tip, guys people like bourbon don't have friends. <laughs> They have people who are less enemies. Listen carefully. The bandits oh. have the station. We need to move quietly and take a look around. If we don't see my friends, we get the hell this out green, of here. That looks like you're going to bad green shit. Uh, these are just bioluminescent mushrooms. See, they're like the white puffball mushrooms. Oh, okay. I remember this great. Let's just... Let's just duck walk around in this... Yeah. No, this seems like a great idea. Shit, I can fit. Okay, you just stay here. Yeah, give me your backpack. Specifically your rifle. So is this a town where like people hate him or First in. Yeah. Hold it. Who are you? <laughs> hey, give me some life. Oh shit. Like I said, people like bourbon don't have friends. <laughs> it's the wow. Yep. Look who's talking. Take me to your boss. I have business with him. You don't have business the to boss? anybody, Bourbon. Of course. Uh, the of <laughs> <laughs> They're beating the shit what out of him. Like to go, huh? uh, Man. Okay, that's enough. What else will have to drag him? Oh fucking hell. Move it. We'll finish this. Like later. I love this Move game, it. but like. I hate Bourbon. Like, that character is just absolutely the worst. Just like a total shitbird, like... Yeah. yeah. He's Blue Falcon to the extreme. Um, I figure most of you don't know what Blue Falconing, Blue Falconry is. Um, feel free to go ahead and Google that shit. I don't have to explain it to you. I bet some could figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Rat bro. Am I right? <laughs> Save my fucking ass. Alright. Well, you could take his stuff, right? Nope. That rifle... Oh, there we go. I was like, nope, the rifle doesn't even work. <laughs> but it does. That uh, was just stupid. Alright. This is one of the hardest stealth sections Ew. in the game. <laughs> That punch noise is a little <laughs> fucking cartoony. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is... 
one of the hardest, if not the hardest stealth section in this entire game. Because there's this guy that's walking the tunnels, see? Yeah. And if I open the grate with him next to me... They'd like... Yeah. And then... As soon as he walks past, I'm good to go. You can't, like, knife him? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm gonna be knifing everybody here if I can have my way about it. But, like... I specifically had to make sure that that one guy had passed me. Yeah. Before I did anything else in this fucking place. No. That's what I wanted. Alright, I'm gonna take my gas mask off now so it'll be a little, little easier to see. Start stripping this place of ammunition, knives, anything I can get a hold of. And I can start systematically disassembling You this seem place. to be doing a good job of, like, kind of keeping stuff, because you've always been finding extra. Yeah, it's not hard to find, like, extra gear and equipment. It's really hard to, like, customize a weapon, though. Um, unless you're like me, and you're really scrupulous about your fucking ammunition and shit like that. Like, we've got 57 rounds right now. We've got one of the sticky bombs, uh, full incendiary and standard explosive. We've got nine arrows for if we find the Helsing down here. I've only got fucking five pistol rounds. That's my greatest... Well, that's you've yeah. been using the shit out of it. Yeah, that's my greatest regret right now. But seriously, um, 36 rounds of ammunition um, is the maximum for the pistol also. So I'm, Oh, you go through it quick? Yeah. Because so. you only get... Six full rounds with it. Yeah, six full magazines. That's kind of rough. Yeah. Oh, trust me. Yeah. It's probably the roughest part of this game, is trying to use the pistol alone. All right, so this is a, uh, unfortunately, not a passage I can reuse. And that guy's coming back. So I want to be on this side of these boxes. until he's passed or until he's turned at least to knife ball him yeah. Duh. well unfortunately he whistles so unless he had stopped whistling there which he did it would have been suicide for me to stab him it's like the uh... The guards in Metal Gear Solid, you know, the ones I'm talking about that radio in every three seconds or yeah. some shit like that. And then if they don't, if you don't hear the radio from them, it's like, what's going on over there? And like, oh, yeah. And then they'll fucking deploy. That's exactly what happens here. They had something like that in the uh, Batman Arkham Asylum games, too. The If you killed the one goons, they like re reported in. Yeah. Shit. It's a rat. A rat must have ate it. <laughs> Speaking of Metal Gear Solid. It's actually really easy to die here. Uh huh. Because this guy uh, over there that I've currently got my. Uh, he doesn't see your sweet laser though. Yeah, I know, but my red dot, the guy that my red dot is currently on there. Um. <laughs> He starts out in this section, like if you enter this section too quickly, he is actually practicing throwing knives on this board here. <laughs> and even if you've got the area completely dark, you can walk past and catch a knife. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Wait, does he not see the lamps turn off, though? Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Like that time they didn't. And he doesn't see a sweet knives gone anymore? Yeah, well, those are uh, arrows. Oh. There. But, yeah, they don't apparently pay attention to that shit. Is there stuff to take over there on the table? Like... Yeah, there's this guy is made of stuff, actually. Why aren't you going to go get it? Because I'm worried that guy back there is going to see me. There we go. I think we lucked out. 
Everything is going well so far. I can't remember if there's a patrol on this side of the tracks. I know there's that guy. And if I get spotted by him, this whole thing goes ape shit because he's got two guys with him. And the way to go avoid down there them, and yep, yeah, go around. Yep, this is the way to avoid them. Oh, can you go underneath? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Now, when I get night vision, uh, shit like this gets a lot easier. To see and everything. Yeah, because I'll be able to actually see what I'm doing down here. <laughs> he was pinned to the wall. Yep. Jeez, little beats. This is tense. Yep. Oh, hopefully that doesn't make okay a lot of noise. Oh shit! They see something? Nope. They didn't see shit. I thought they were saying like, "Did you yeah. see that guy?" No, they, they fucked me up the first time yeah. too. Like, did you see the guy? I'm like, oh fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> But like, no, they're actually, they're talking about bourbon right now. Oh. Wow. This oh, gets God tough. This isn't actually the hard part over here, these guys. Those yeah. guys are the easy part. Um, there's a 30 cal in a turret oh, to little, the right. Oh, little pillbox that they'll blast you in. Yep. And like, fighting that's all kinds of fun, of course. A little huh. cooking stove. See, intrinsically, what I want to do is kill one of these guys, or both of them. But, like, okay. at the same time, they don't have any guns on them. Like, you can actually see that they're pretty much devoid of... Weaponry. Yeah. But they'll make noise. Yeah. That guy over there's got armor, but, like, the armor doesn't actually work. Like, I can't take his armor. Can you, like, throw the knives super quick? Yeah, not quick enough. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we'll keep watching you stumble around next episode. Yep. Sorry, guys, it's taking forever, but uh, this is the only way I'm going to get through the game in one piece until I become a Spartan, and then I'm basically God. So, next time on Nihau Hala. Start at 39. 3, 2, 1, go. All right, welcome back, Nondescripts. I promise I'm gonna try and make this section as quickly, uh, make it through this section as quickly as possible. It is uh, probably not going to happen the way I want it to, but uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stupid place to hang out, huh? Man, I need to get a comfier chair, dude. Fuck. Does that mean somebody saw you? Yep. They spotted me. Pretty sure. Or they just might have heard something. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh God. fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, Jesus. Well, no use in staying quiet, right? All that bumble fucking around to just fuck up at that point. Jesus. Oh man. Well, you're fucked. Ha! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> they fucking got your ass. Oh yeah, they did. Well, at least it starts you right back here. Oh, I 
kind of want to take this guy up on the top, but I don't, I don't want to take him until they're done talking. Because otherwise, that is suicide. They're going to investigate immediately. I mean, all they have to do is drop a sweet little pipe bomb again. Yep. <laughs> that fucked you up. <laughs> Probably just shoot him in the head. Nothing. Nothing. You see nothing. You hear nothing. Can I'm you do like Metal Gear Solid shit like that? Like cause distractions elsewhere and then speak oh, yeah. up? Yeah. I, I basically just did that because I just fired a fucking suppressed pistol to take out one of their uh, sentries, which they're going to go investigate now. For the most part. And if I take this light out... See? And, like, now they're all, like... Hear him? Yeah. They're all going shit. They're like, whoa, huh. where the fuck is he? Look for him, look for him. Ah, man, that's neat. This game, uh, kind of thought of a lot of, like, different ways to do it. It's honestly, like, one of the best stealth shooters I've ever played. Um, it's way better than that abortion, uh, Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Um, oh, Jesus. I fucking hated that game. I didn't even know that they made a Chronicles of Riddick game. Um, I own it. It's bad. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe someone right now will, like, request us to play that. Be like, I really like that game. You guys should give it another chance. I mean, I will give it another chance for the sake of the show, but only for the sake of the show. <laughs> <laughs> is it that bad? It's that bad. So it's a stealth shooter? like Shooter's a strong word. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that honestly was like an interesting movie series. Like, it was kind of weird because, you know, the first movie, I forget what it was called, like Perfect Dark? Pitch Black. Pitch Black? Pitch Jesus, Black. Perfect Dark or something yeah. else. Uh, but it, you know, it had like a neat concept with the aliens, and then all of a sudden, it just like each movie got weirder and weirder. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen the new one yet, uh, the, which is just called Riddick, right? Is that right? Yeah, and they're like, it's actually in the society, and then there's like goofy costumes and shit, and it was like, all right, before oh, this God. went to like a space adventure. I've killed us all. <laughs> <laughs> Flicked my back. Oh God, I've killed us all. <laughs> it was like you know a, a space adventure, and then all of a sudden, like. I don't know. Turn goofy. Is that Vin Diesel's Riddick? I mean... Or is that some other guy? Yeah. Yeah, it's Vin Diesel. Like, honestly, in my opinion, Vin Diesel's best work was uh, as Caparzo in uh, fucking... Saving uh, Private Ryan? Yeah. Private Caparzo. Or was he a private? I can't remember. I can't if he was remember the movie. I remember that was God. He looks young in that. Oh yeah. It's before he even like blew up too. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I shot and I missed. <laughs> oh man, there's this fucking red light in my eyes. I can't figure out what it is. Oh God, no. What the fuck was that, a rocket? No, that's not what, what? I wanted. <laughs> you just like totally Call of Duty a dude on the other end, like... <laughs> <laughs> dude, I would shit myself with, with happiness, like... If that had actually happened. Like a fucking tomahawk just travels <laughs> 50 <laughs> yards. Or the fucking, what was it, the most bullshit tomahawk kill in Call of Duty? It, like, bounced off the wall and stuck in the guy's foot, and it was... I've seen the one where the guy just, like, the match was, like, gonna be over in three seconds, and he, he literally just, like, lobs it over in the air in a direction off of the UMD or whatever. Oh. And it totally fucking nails the guy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, I haven't seen that one. Um, but I have seen, like, the fucking... Uh, this guy threw it at the wall, bounced off the wall, and stuck in the guy... Like, the heel of the guy's shoe. And it was an instant <laughs> kill because of the way the tomahawk's coated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, like, that's fucking... That's my problem with Call of Duty. It, like... Not that it romanticizes war. Like, I don't have any problem with games that do that, really. But There's like, always going to be war games. It's like... Yeah. At, like, and... 
I'm not going to shit on people for programming, like, war games, because... They have people have fun with the game, and, like, they're not shits, you know? Don't, yeah. Don't shit on someone else's enjoyment. Exactly. But, like, my problem with Call of Duty is that it's all... Yeah, it's a bad game. <laughs> yeah. For one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I kind of like how Battlefield at least had, you know... Not everybody is just a super soldier. I like the whole aspect of, you know, a guy's a medic, and... One guy's the specialist. You, like I kind of like that idea of a real team aspect. That it's... guy's gonna have a bad day. <laughs> Ooh. But you know there was a team aspect. You know now it was cheesy that you know a fucking blowtorch fixes everything and you can AED everybody back to life with who has bullet wounds in them. But at least you know you have that kind of system in that game. Get him! I'm working on it. <laughs> Get him better! Yeah, I'm fucking- what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Run around like you're the chicken with your head cut off. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be stealthy for three episodes. Ah, oh, I fucked it up! <laughs> well... Oop! I think he saw you. They're awfully edgy now. Yeah. Oh, oh those damn it. That, uh, did, that didn't go anywhere near where I wanted it to. I oh, wow. To go, they like... did the dirt rain noise. was so cool. I want to hear if it does it again. Damn it. It did it when it was closer. Oh, it did the dirt rain when it was farther away. It's just it was quieter. No, no, I know. I just really liked how close it was. Um, I can't tell if that guy's alive or not. Folks at home, if... Uh, you don't have them, uh, Neil and I do. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about our hardware, but uh, get yourself. Uh, they're kind of expensive, but headphones that have surround and their own local system and separate speakers, it is worth the money. Uh, if you're super into gaming or just an audiophile, um, Neil uses... Uh, what are yours, Neil? Uh, the Astro A40 gaming yeah, headset. I use the um, Kraken Chromas from Razer, and Razer's sound program is alright, but if you are into like immersive gameplay or just anything else, like they do a great job of making like dirt sound like it's falling behind you, and it, it really like kind of steps up your gameplay, in my opinion. This looks like a bastard that's been heavily modified. Maybe it has been. I, I, no, I'm thinking that's exactly what that is. Like, a heavily modified bastard gun. What do you think, Neil? Like, do you like, uh... Are you big into your headphones when you game, or...? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to be uh, a guy that was like, no, nah, maybe we can just, like, set up surround sound speakers, but, like, you gotta... We tried up. that that one year with my old, like, Logitech setup, and it just... I don't know, it's not the same... Like, you've got to set up a room, and then you've got to make sure that there's no obstruction between you and the speaker. That's another thing. If you don't got a lot of room, too, like, if you're in a dorm room or, you know, you got an apartment that you're sharing with folks and yeah, if you, you only got so much space. Yeah, if you if you want to be the uh, the polite uh, gamer, gamer. <laughs> then you definitely want yourself a nice 7.1 or 5.1 headset. The Astro A40 is only 5.1 because it uses a uh, Toslink optical cable. Uh, to actually connect to your computer. So it can't actually do true 5.1 surround. It, it takes a two, uh, like, true stereo sound and expands it. Uh, Which, there are MIDI controllers to do that. I mean, yeah, and but that's just more hardware you gotta buy. Yeah, and it's not... It's not bad, actually. Um, like, I thought it would sound, like, tinny and stupid, but uh, it actually sounds pretty good. Um, the... The ear cups are very comfortable. Uh, I'm a huge fan of their of their ear cups. Um, everything on the headphones, like except for the headphones themselves, is uh, easily replaceable. Um, so it also we, makes if you're playing team games, like we play Hell Divers a lot, it makes it easier to talk to our friends and oh yeah, yeah. not get feedback and be more clear and concise and still hear your game. It's actually funny because I'm actually I'm wearing them right now and uh, Roman is actually able to hear me because I am using um, the comm mic on the headset uh, with a pass through cable, a patch through cable to the headphones that he is wearing so that he can hear the game too. Uh, and he's able to hear my microphone over that cable as well. 
Um, but he can't hear the stereo mics that we're using, like the studio mics that we're using. Um, we have he, that on a different... Yeah, that's that's going through a, an M-Box, um, which we got a hell of a deal on. Thank you, Western Hills Music. You guys rock. <laughs> um, so right now, I'm trying to go through these back tunnels. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. did you kill a guy pooping? Oh, no, he was just napping. Is that a hookah? I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it is. I, I think it, it kind of looks like a hookah. Ah, yeah, no, that's a, no, hookah. It's a hookah. Adorable. Ah, well, like, yeah, oh next well. time on Nile Hollow, we find more hookahs. 